Can we let in gents? You can hear us, you can see us. I can hear you. There we go. So don't give me thank you very much, guys. Thank you for much for your time. Welcome to our pre-match uh, virtual uh, presser. I've got Emirates Lions Sports and Line of Sports Baron Pedersa and Emmanuel Chituka. Um, whoever's ready to go, uh, we can ask the first question. We've got 10 minutes for the session, guys, before the guys go for the team meeting. Morning, Borand. Morning, Manuel. Um, it's been such a hectic time in rugby with the Rugby World Cup going on it, and it's the URC has really gone un, under the radar quite a bit, um, but I'm sure that you guys are excited to get back out in the park this weekend, and none bigger than last year's losing finalists, the Stormers. To both of you. Yeah, I'll start. Um, yeah, for sure. It's, uh, it's been a long uh, pre-season um, with no with no rugby for us. I think it's about 12 to 12, 13 weeks um, without playing any rugby. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it's really exciting to get the season going and play against um, yeah last year's finalists. It's a good uh, challenge for us. And um, yeah, it's something that we're looking forward to. What you want to go for? Yeah, um, yeah, I agree with uh, Moni. Yeah, I mean, it's been uh, obviously they thought a. Uh, a uh, really tough preseason, and talking to all the players and in their one on ones and talking to all the the other coaches. I mean, they it's been one of the hardest, toughest um, preseasons they've had in quite a while. So I think everyone is excited just to get the game started again. Thanks, Morgan. Baron, call Fabian Quimwater. Hi, Paul. Um, we know what type of rugby the Creek was played, uh, played, and we know what type of rugby the Lions played last year. Um, are you looking to combine the two, or is it more of the same this year from the Lions? Uh, look, I think um, in every in every team or every setup you are, there's the strengths um, from from a, from a certain team, and I think the Lions had the had a at a strength last season and the season before, which which Greek was maybe didn't have, um, and vice versa. So obviously, I'll try and bring my own little flavor, or <laughs> if you can call that, to to the Lions, and and hopefully just um, whatever we want what, to, whatever we wanted to improve on law from last season, um, that's that's all we can hope for. So I won't say it's a com combination of the two or anything. So uh, yeah, I think you have to. You have to work towards the strengths of uh, the players you you have at the moment, and I think there's a lot of strengths we have here. Is maybe a question for both. Uh, we know how the lines fared last year. Um, why do you think you'll fare better, and do you think you'll fare better than last year? Yeah, I think uh, for sure I, have, I take a lot of confidence um, going into this uh, preseason. I think I started into the season. I think we had a really good uh, preseason. Uh, as a group, and I think mo more importantly, we managed to keep um, most of our, of our of our core players. I think in the previous seasons, we did struggle with a couple of our starting players leaving, and I think this is one of the like first seasons in a while where we get to you know just continue with uh, with our core players. So mm -hmm. I think we can take a lot of confidence out of that. And um, I mean, I, I, the preseason that we had also just something as um, that that us as players just feel like we can also take and draw a lot of confidence from. Yeah, from my side, I think the the core thing that that um, Anu said now is the fact that we kept the, the the core players or that that we really wanted to keep, and um, I think that's very important for us. Um, building some consistency from last season, I think that's going to play a major role for us. Thanks a lot, sir. Thanks, Paul. Uh, can I go, please? Yeah, sure. Go, Mort. Thanks, uh, Coach. When we spoke last week, you were still new to the setup there. What have you learned in a week that you've been with with the the union and the line? So, what's impressed you, and where have you noticed maybe a, a few work on that are required? Um, I think from rugby wise, a lot. Uh, the thing that impressed me most most is um, the work rate of the guys. I mean, obviously, you get a from from an outsider, or when I was still an outsider looking looking in you. You sort of had this mindset about the Lions and um, and where they are now, but the the way the guys train, um, the work they do off field before training. I mean, they're in here early. They're doing their prehab, their rehab. 
um, the, you, you, you can't fault the, the effort in, in all the trainings that I've seen. So I think that that's impressed me the most. And I must say something that that I don't like is the is is the is the traffic here in Joburg because I'm not used to that anymore. So at the moment, that's the only thing I dislike. Is there uh, after the trading matches last week any niggles to the core or to the team that you guys are looking to select later this week? Any injury concerns that you might have picked up in the week or so? Um, at the moment, there's nothing um, too serious. Um, there was a little bit of bumps and bruises after the game, but at the moment, nothing too serious now. How's the guys? Thanks, Mon. Thanks, Mon. Yeah, Ross, go for it. Thanks, Renisso. How's it, guys? Um, Manu, uh, last year, uh, well, last season, uh, the Stormers obviously were in fantastic form. You know, they did the double over all the South African teams. Yeah. Um, are you guys sort of fired up to try and break that record? And also last season, uh, when you played the Stormers up there in Joburg, you guys did, I think, fantastically in the first half and fell away in the second when they, uh, you know, came back to win that. So how do you guys sort of plan to change at this time round? Yeah, for sure. I think um, um, what Stormers did last season speaks for itself. I mean, um, going to two finals back to back is was quite impressive. I think, um, you know, in the past two seasons they have um, managed to dominate um, uh, South African rugby at the moment. And it's a challenge that not just us, but all the South African teams will have to take on. And we just look out, um, look forward to playing against them. I think whenever we play against them, it's quite an uh, exciting and attractive brand of rugby to play. Um, so, yeah, as players, we just, um, we, I just know that we have to like, stick to our person and stick to what's, um, We've been training throughout the preseason and throughout this week, and then, and I have no doubt in my mind that what we what we've got planned for them will and will will we'll come out and I'm successful. So, um, yeah, it's just something that we uh, look forward to. It's a challenge that we obviously have to take and uh, I'm looking forward to taking. And uh, yeah, exciting thing. So, and just one more. Last year, you, uh, last season, um, you guys as uh, obviously had a big tour early on, and uh, you're going to have that again this time. So how important is it to get off to a good start this weekend and then try and replicate that form you guys had on uh, last season's first tour overseas? Yeah, um, I think last season we had a good uh, we had a good start to the season. Um, I think where we felt sure was I think in the middle of the season maybe it's sort of struggle to just hold on to that consistency and that, uh, um, that the form that we're in. I think this season obviously a good start is always um, it's always good for us to get um, get off the blocks running and get um, get as much points as we can. I think, but a big work on for us also just to hold that consistent consistency, especially throughout uh, the middle of the, of the season towards the end. I think our middle of the season last season wasn't uh, wasn't good enough up to scratch. So I think if we can just polish up on that, um, yeah, we will be in for a good season. Thank you, Ross. Can we take one more, guys, before we close? Yeah, Nisu, I'd like to go if you don't mind. Borat, uh, Honoris Virgil, a uh, bloke that was playing with you there at the Greek was, um, he was at the Lions last season, got injured. I almost feel that he came back a better player off his injury, so a massive player for you and a fantastic opportunity for the youngster at one of the big unions. Yes, uh, I think last season, uh, obviously, he had a little bit of a setback with that Achilles he had, but um, I think... Yeah, yes, he, he he worked really hard to get back. I mean, yeah, I don't think any of any of us thought that he would really play so much um, during last year's Curry Cup. So um, I'm happy for him. I think he should have he should have had his chance last season, like I said. But um, yeah, I'm happy for him. He's, he's worked hard. Um, he he's actually fitting in well with the guys here, fitting in well with the way we want to play. So yeah, I'm very excited for him. Thanks for that, Morgan. Colleagues, thank you very much for your time. Um, we'll chat next week, or oh, late in the week, sorry. Thank you. Hello. Yeah, Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Yes, Carl. Good luck. Thank Are you, you going to you. see a recordings? Yes, I'll share it uh, 10 minutes after this. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Good luck, guys. Cheers, bye. Bye. Cheers, guys.